Now I'm building these alcove cupboards. The fronts are going to be beach. The doors are going to be beach. Panels going to be MR MDF. And these shelves are going to just going to be pine. Too expensive to do all that in beach. It's not necessary. 30 mil MR MDF top. Little skirting. There's no cupboard to it. I'm just using the alcove. So it's going to be a front frame. And then a small return that goes back to the alcove. About six, seven inch. These shelves are going to be about 280, about 11 inch deep. And I'm going to house the ends in into a groove so that they give, give it strength. And then there'll be a small bead going either side to cover the gap. Right, I've got buffs on beach planks. They're uh, almost an inch thick. I'll get 20 mil out of them. And these are my beach planks. And that one in there. See, I've got to work out what's the best and what's the most economical use for them because they're all different widths. Right, I've cut them to buff size, marked on them. I'm going to cut them down the middle so I can get two out of each of these. These are the door rails. I can get four out of a board, so I've left them at a manageable length. It's easier than working in little short pieces. Those rails are only going to be about 336 or 400. Right, first thing I'm going to do before I rip these down is put one straight edge on. So that as I'm running it through the saw, I've got a nice straight edge to work up to the fence. Get a nicer cut then. I'll cut it oversize because you might get a little bit of warp as these cut. They'll maybe spread or even nip up. First thing I do before I start playing is I'm going to give it a rub over with this rag. This rag has had wax on it loads of times so there'll be enough just to give this a quick clean. rough size. What I'll do now is run them over the planer here, get one flat face, put that flat face up against the fence, run it through that way. And what I'll end up is one square edge here, two plain sides. Put a pencil mark like that. That is a pencil mark that I'll be working to then. That pencil mark We'll go on the saw, that square edge there, flat face down, planed edge down. I'll run them through to just a couple mil more than what I need. Put them through the planer to thickness with the pencil mark down so they're all the same thickness. Then I'll stand them on edge, the pencil mark down plane them to width. And I might turn them over, plane off that pencil mark with half a millimetre cut or something to remove any planing marks that might be in this wood from running it over the joint of there.
well cut and plain square. First thing I'm going to do is make the, cut these, make the frames. On the drawing here, these are the exact sizes, the width. So I'm going to make the frames just 5mm bigger so that I've got something subscribing on this end. Two here that were made a little bit wider. They're going to go on the outside like that. I've got a couple of nice ones that are going to go on the return. The return is this bit. That bit's got to be nice. It's going to be seen. That bit's going to get cut. Same there. So I'm going to cut all these to length first. I need to cut a square end on one, on one end. I put a little pencil mark like that. That tells me that that ends square. It's just my own personal mark. I've got to do that because I used to have a sliding stop on here. What's left of it is there. went on like that so I could lift that up put a piece of wood on cut one end square flip it round put this stop down put that square end up and cut it to length but it was jamming in here I think I'm gonna make a metal one a metal version of that I lost my patience with it hammer fixed it I lost my patience with it and fixed it with a hammer. So now I have to put a square on one end so that I can turn it over, butt it up to the stop, which I'll clamp on. Just clamp a piece of wood on. I'm going to be using dominoes on these, so it's important that I get it square. That is absolutely spot on. So now I've got one square end, flip it over, and set my stop down there. on this can't see it in the sun though Right now that I've got these legs cut to length, put two of them out of the way. Think about cutting this bottom rail and the top rail. I need the length. The length for this one is. I'm going to pair these up just, just in case. So I'm going to call these right, right frame. So I put the right frame on them. The size for this one is 1120. So if I put 1120 there, the width of these two, that size is 983. I want to make it slightly wider so that I've got something to play with. So I'm going to make it 990. That gives me 7 mil to scribe down that wall. And I'll have a little bit in the width as well anyway, but 9.90. So now I can cut these rails that are going to go up to them. Cut these both square on one end. If I had the slidey stop, I could just set up a stop easily. But I can't be bothered. So what I'm going to do is flip these over. I'm 
halfway length, 990. And I'm simply going to cut them both at the same time. That way I know I've got two pieces that are exactly the same length. Right, now I'm going to mark the face with my swirly bit. The swirl points to the inside edge so I know this is the, the seen face. Right, I'm going to connect these with a domino. One on the top, one on the bottom. Don't need to get two in because there's going to be framework on the inside that will hold this bottom bit. And there's a skirting on as well, so if it don't move, it don't really matter. But I want one up at the top here. So, this top one will go, if I just lift the fence up out of the way, will go on the second stop. And then that top one up there will go on to the first stop. Some temporary dominoes there that I sanded down. So that goes like that, like that, like that. Dominoes are cut. I ain't glued them together yet. They're still loose. I've just laid them in these frames just to check before I get carried away. I'm going to put a groove inside here for the panels. I need to dig the router table out there. I'm going to be using, and then we're going to be using this cutter. So I just set up for 9mm, so I'll whiz through that, they look about right there, see I've left about a 3mm gap. Right, I've set the cutter, the height I want, two little pencil marks, so that I can run these ones through and start. Drop them in, run it through. When I get to this mark, I pull it away so that these so that these don't go all the way through. Got my face marks so that they go down, down and against the fence.
I've cut the grooves for them, for the panels. I'll just put one domino in so that I can get my distances. And all I'll do is measure between here. I know that this groove is 10mm deep, so I'll add a little bit less than 10mm to each side, get my size, cut some panels. I'll get some glue on those, pull these joints up. Right, I'm ready to glue these up. When you're gluing stuff up, it's nice to get things laid out, get all your tools out, and you're not panicking. These clamps fall over a little bit, so I cut these bits of wood ages ago. They just give you a bit more stability. I'm using this stuff again, PU glue. It's waterproof. It can be a bit messy, but it's relatively easy to clean off when it swells up. Proper dominoes, not the sanded ones now. And a mallet to bang them in. It's a dead blow hammer. That. Right, that's glued to over in clamps. I just need to check that it's square. All these ends are flush. So, pointy stick in the corner there. Put a pencil in. And check it that way. And that is spot on. Because these have been cut, the dominoes go in straight. They're normally pretty square, so that one I'll stack to one side, keep it flat, keep it level, and get on with the others. Right, they're all glued up. It says 30 minute glue, but I'm going to leave them overnight. Come back to them tomorrow and sand them. You need to stack them level, or at least not twisted, so that back rail needs to run parallel to the other one. Sight them through. Need to make sure that none of these are jacked up on anything. All your packers need to be parallel. Otherwise you'll end up with twisted doors. So while they're drying, start gluing these boards together to make shelves.